Hello everyone, Len Johnson. We're going to do a quick installation video to show you how to properly install Snow Dust Buster. The Snow Dust Buster 3 is the latest design that I have and it's designed to mount on almost any helmet and what it does is it allows other riders behind you to see you especially in snow dust. It's a real game changer and these things are bright. This is a green one we're going to install and this one is almost 200 lumens of light. Green light. And we do find that green and red penetrate the snow probably the best. And we do have other colors like blue and uh, amber and we have pink for the ladies if they're interested. So we're going to do a quick installation and show you how quickly we can put this on and, and how it functions. So in my kit I give you instructions which half the people out there don't read which is why we're doing the video because they're not putting them on right so I'm gonna show you the correct installation and the uh, clips that come in the kit these are these little clips are what helps keep the wires organized in the helmet but it also keeps the input wire which is this short wire this is where the power comes in from your snowmobile from getting worn and then having the wires break inside from flexing too much over time so we're going to show you how to properly do that so when you get ready to install the snow dust buster helmet light you're going to need your short heated shield cord that came with your heated shield normally this is sitting right on here and it threads into this port on the heated shield and this hooks to the long cord that goes on your snowmobile when you get off your sled you're going to disconnect here and leave this permanently on the helmet because it's going it's going to attach to the new helmet light so in your kit i provide you with a alcohol wipe there's a couple reasons we use this we're going to wipe down where we're going to put the light first it cleans all the oils off the helmet so that the 3M adhesive on the back of the strip will adhere. And the other thing it does is it activates the release liner on the strip itself so that it's permanently attached and it's not gonna pull off. I haven't had any issues with these not sticking. Even on these um, dull matte surfaces that are on this 509 helmet so once you get the alcohol wipe wiped down you're going to be putting your anchors for your cords on the left side of the helmet and you need to wipe down that area also now you want to let that dry before you move on to the next step all right now we're going to check the fitment of the led to the back of the helmet to make sure it's going to fit properly so we plug it into the shield into the port and we mount the light centered on the helmet temporarily I like to keep the light somewhere in the lower midsection of the back of the helmet but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it in place and I'm gonna make sure that when I close the heated shield and open it it's not too tight and it's not gonna pull this apart once you figured out where you're gonna mount the light on the helmet you're gonna remove the re release liner on the 3M adhesive. Now what's nice about this is if you stick it on you don't quite like where it is you can pull it off if you do it quickly before the glue has time to set up and start activating. So what I'm going to do is I count over six LEDs one two three four five six that's the center of the light right there. There's six this way and six this way. So now we're going to center. So just press it in the middle don't let it stick yet. See how I can still stick it and pull it back up? Set it on the table and make sure that when you're looking at it, it's nice and straight and it's off a little bit. So I'm going to tweak it just a bit. I hook it up to the shield, to the port. Make sure it's going to reach. Looks good. Everything's good. Now I'm going to press it in. Make sure this part you press in really, really good with your thumb and get that glue adhered to the back of the helmet because you don't want this thing falling off. The helmet light does get somewhat warm which is not a bad thing because the snow won't stick to it. This is a high output LED and it um, is very efficient. It uses less than half a watt of power. 
It does not take away from the function of the heated shield. The cord assembly that comes with your kit can handle up to 25 watts of power and most of the heated shields only draw 10 to 15 watts so we're well within the ampacity of the wire. Now you're going to take the short heated shield cord and you're going to plug it into this input strip. Make sure it's seated and what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the plastic clips and before we peel the release liner on them we're going to stick them on the helmet so that they're already on here so they're ready to go when we, when we peel and stick. So I put one on the input wire side and one on the heated shield cord side. And we put the third one on the power wire that powers the heated shield from the kit. This is the most critical step right here. Once you've got these laid out so that you're liking where they lay out, and if some of you have radios, you're just gonna have to move this connection back here so that the radio has room to sit. I run a radio. And you don't want it obviously too close to the um, sun visor function so you can still work this lever. Some helmets have them in here, some are up here, but just keep the kit organized away from that so it's not in the way. So what we're gonna do now is check the fitment find out where we want this stuff organized to and the idea of this is to mount this clip so that when this is getting pulled on it can't pull this apart and it can't um, wear this connection out in here this this wire what happens is if, if you just run the kit like this and you got this thing dangling and it's pulling back and forth eventually it just wears out the wires inside here and they break and the kit will fail. So with this design, we are mounting this, these two plastic clips in such a way that that can't happen. We've got the plastic clips mounted in place. Everything's nice and neat and organized. Take your thumb and press those on. And make sure you do this at room temperature. You can't do this outside in the cold because these 3M strips need to be at least 60 degrees to properly adhere to the helmet. And once you get them on, it takes about a day for them to chemically react with the alcohol wipe that we put on in order for them to actually set up. So if you can do this like the night before you ride or a day before you ride, it's the best because it'll stay on and you have no failures. So now if you take a look, we've got the input wire that came with your heated shield originally mounted here. And when we pull on it, it doesn't pull here, and it's not going to um, create issues with the input wire to the helmet safety light. The output wire comes out, comes through this clip, and now mounts to the shield. We close the shield to check that it's all lined up, and if this thing sticks out too far, you can just twist it in, and that should be good. And now you're up and ready to go. And there you go. Now you're ready to go out and ride.